What's up everyone, this is Cher talking. welcome back to my channel, in today's video we're gonna run Final Island 4 this week, the first of the year, and we are finally seeing the return of some stages that have, have been long gone. Well, first of all, the first, well, is week to Slash and Sun, but technically the first wave is only week to Sun, and it's the hardest one, Sun damage is not as easy to find as Slash, Slash is plenty, so we shall focus on defeating the first wave with Sun attacks, and then slash attacks against the other two waves. This is exactly pretty easy because it can be done with many non-limited styles. I brought a very interesting squad here. Uh, let's go here, Amazon Raid X formation with the latest welfare style of Princess Lion on the front line so that she can use Floating Juggernaut, one of the strongest AoE attacks in the game. Uh, we have also the only limited style being Christmas Final Impress with use of her Christmas Moon to kill the first wave. She will be strong enough if you have her perfect weapon. Mine is not exactly perfect, but close. And there is also Antonius, another very strong uh, platinum style with Wall Rewind Plus. That will kill the second wave. If you are not strong enough, I suggest you to bring Nora in the back. She has Savage Slash and will increase the STR and deal some damage. I also have my Platinum Madeline because she increases the slash damage all the three waves. Okay, so everyone will use normal attacks besides Final Impress and her Christmas Moon. Mine can kill the first wave, but some people won't be able to, so you should use Nor. Now on the second wave, we just use the fast attack for Antonius. And everyone else with normal attacks. He will kill them all. But mine has a 90% weapon. I think a 70 will be enough. He deals critical against the back row enemies. Now we're gonna use the floating juggernaut. Because this attack is extremely powerful. Uh, Tony's don't have any AoE, so just a normal. And that's it. We only need two attacks, guys. Actually, I could have used uh, Nora, fast attack. I just did it, but in the end it's just the same, since Partner and Press finished the enemies and she's much faster than Antonius anyway. With that, we'll be able to get a perfect score easily, with only four actions even. Then we have the second well where enemies are weak to slash and pierce. This is a stage that we haven't seen in a while. The first wave is aligned in a row, so you can use row attacks, but it's also mixed. You see enemies weak to slash and to pierce. Then we have the giant, a boss on the second wave, and in the third wave enemies aligned in a column. You could use waterfall blade. If you have Soji, it should be very easy to do some good damage here. And you could also use Fire Impress here, but I used her on the first well, so let's go here and check. I am again using Amazon Raid X because it's just, just easier to buff STR. I have Sip here in the back because she has Mountain Cross to help out against the boss. There is also Jamu because Jamu has Floral Cracker, that is both Slash and Pierce. Streaming Pierce is also just the same, but it's not fast, so not easy to use. In the front line, I have Ellen to attack the giant with deadly spin, but it can be many other uh, slash damage dealers. Gustav is actually very good because he buffs STR to the party and triple crush is the strongest slash damage that he can do. Noel can finish the first wave by himself. I have uh, Twilight Flash and then I also have Shadow Blade because it's a delay attack from his past limited style just so that he does not attack when I don't want him to. There we go. So Noel first with his Twilight Flash. You just have to choose the enemy in the back. It should be strong enough to kill the enemies, but if it's not, I guess someone will use normal attack. Yes. Sadly, it's not strong enough. Should be very close to me, but maybe the next time. <laughs> Look, Valder is on the back there. I didn't see. So, deadly spin this time. Triple crush. No, I don't have Shadow Blade because he didn't trigger his passive. I hope that he does not attack. And Mountain Cross. This will buff the STR of my frontal units. Triple Crush. Kinda exaggerated, but my weapons are pretty strong. People that don't have such a strong weapons will benefit more from Mountain Cross. Helen now has a dimensional break. Gustav can use Iron Wave. Um, 
Let's use Shadow Blade so that he does not attack. Jamie will use Floral Cracker. Because it's fast, and we just want three attacks to happen. Dimensional Break will be able to kill Bolt. Well, we got eight actions, so 854k. Now, the last is a no stage. We got this plenty of times recently, and it says weak to sun and blunt, but I'll honestly just weak to sun and no resistance to blunt, but two other elements, so I don't know why he has his name. Uh, we have to bring plenty of sun AoEs, and there is some options here. Um, I have been using Emperor and also Mantra because they are very strong sun damage dealers. And Christmas Rapina, all of them in the front line. In the back we have Leon, because Leon can attack with his Imperial Glory, help out by buffing, and there is also Gathered that buffs damage. He's not going to attack just here passively. And there we go. We're gonna use Dual Dragon Light, inherited from his Platinum style. Matriarch will use Shining Glory. Rapina will use Sun Flash only. She's just gonna help doing the second hit. Leon will use the Blade Light so that he does not attack. That's good enough. These enemies sometimes attack before us, I don't understand. Now we have... Um, I'm gonna use Melody of Light here in the back. Shining Glory. All is Shining Sword. And that's it. It is not strong enough to kill that enemy. It should be pretty close to being able to kill. I think this enemy has plenty of HP. We took some damage, hopefully this does not affect our score. Now against the boss, Baphos. We have Dual Dragon Light again, Shining Glory, Sun Flash, and Imperial Glory. Yeah, we just use Steel Blade. Don't want you to attack. Neon goes first. Buffing the damage of the other characters. Dual Dragon Light should be enough to kill, or Shining Glory, it doesn't really matter. This should be 8 actions. Giving us 854k, exactly. And with that, you get all the treasure chests. This is the end of the video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps you with your final island runs. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. Hope to see you soon in the next. Bye.